Auto repair shops have been collecting old car seats, and today is demo day. They're breaking down those car seats to be recycled, and they're putting our very own Steve Nielsen to work out there. Steve, as if you didn't have enough to do today. Yeah, I gotta start stretching, I think, to get ready for this. This is hard labor that okay. got going on. And we have Jim from NARPRO with us here this morning. How you doing, Jim? Great. This is incredible. Um, you know, Anita, we were just chatting about this, but I mean, we have dozens and dozens of people that are breaking a sweat out here doing all this work. And Jim, what they're doing is they're, they're breaking down these car seats in order to save all these parts, right? Right. We're going to separate the plastic and metal just like you do at home, you know, separate out your recycle. But we found uses for all of it. I mean, the, the straps with clips on the end, it's going to an animal welfare leak. They're going to use them for leashes and stuff like that. The padded material, as long as it's not ripped open, is going to go to the Phoenix Zoo. So tell, so what you're talking about when you say the padded material, you're talking about like, like this part of the seat here, this is the stuff that goes to the zoo. Right, because it, it makes for a nice little bed. It's a quilted pillow, basically. Fantastic. And you're even able to save like the styrofoam. Well. Right. The, the styrofoam goes to a place in Tempe. They make building material out of it. Building material yeah. out of these car seats. That's incredible. And I love, you can hear the, the saws going right now, all the power tools, because some of it's a screwdriver and it just comes right off. Right. And some of it stuff. just actually unplug. It's you, The pieces just connect together. But when you get down to the end of it, there's usually some uh, power tools involved. Fantastic. And they're, they're breaking a sweat over here right now. I love it. Oh, we got to check this out. You see this? Oh, we got, we got sparks flying here this morning. That's incredible. So, more than 2,000 car seats were actually donated for this, or not, uh, were, were given to you guys for this in order to be recycled, right? Correct. We get them through different agencies around the valley and stuff, but the majority of them come from individuals just, here, have my seat to recycle. Fantastic. And, and if we can go around, actually, Justin, because I think, the, so that's where all, like, the, the fun work's going on and stuff, and watch out. We got some cords here. Good job. All right, Justin's got the camera on his shoulder, so I like to always look out for his feet to make sure he doesn't trip. Look at this pile of car seats. So this is two years of collections that you guys have been grabbing all of these, right? Correct. Yeah, we didn't, last year with COVID, we couldn't get together and do anything. So um, how do people, if they've got a car seat at home right now, what should they do? How do they get in contact with you guys to give it to you instead of just going to the landfill? Well, you can drop it off at any of the NARPRO shops. You can go to narpro.com, and we have shops across the valley where you can just drop them off. And I want to give some props here, too, to S by S and S Tire. That's where we are here in Peoria, where they got doing this. Because it takes a lot to be able to donate their space and their time here on a work day like this. Yeah, and he stuff. went around and collected the seats from around the valley, and he stored them here, and he's given up space for us to, to play in today. How'd you, how'd you get involved in all of this? I mean, this is a big thing to be able to say, hey, we're going to start accepting car seats. Well, this is our 13th year. Um, NARPRO's been involved for probably the last six um, Safe Kids of Maricopa County and Phoenix Children's Hospital started it, and we kind of inherited it from them. Fantastic. Jim, thank you so much for doing this. This is great. And again, you just, you just search in your auto body, make sure they're a NARPRO member, and you can just go and bring your car seat to them there, and then you get to be a part of this. And this, it keeps it all out of the landfill. And Anita, what's great is, by us walking around to show you this huge pile, it got me out of having to do the hard work. <laughs> that's what's really important here this morning. Maybe off camera. We'll get some footage. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.